Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jasmine, the Buffet Witch. But you already knew that, did you? I'm not sure that you did. But in case you did not, hi! Welcome to my channel where we're gonna do all things buffet. So in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about me. Hello, little introductions. And then we're gonna talk about what you're gonna see on my channel. And I'm gonna jump right on in to a shop my stash, okay? So, hi, Jasmine, you? Nice to meet you, <laughs> welcome. Um, I am a 35 year old beauty lover. I love all of the things. And I decided to jump jump into these YouTube streets with the rest of y'alls, okay? Um, I have had the most wonderful time meeting the most wonderful people in the beauty space. And they have just given me all of the thumbs ups to just go ahead and do it. From just the sheer amount of love that I have gotten and the amount of people telling me how valuable my input can be, I just feel like I owe it to everyone to do it. More I owe it to myself, why not? Because I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. And I said, you know what? It's 2024, do it. So here we is doing it, okay? So yes, I'm a beauty lover. I love all things beauty. And on my channel, you're gonna see all the things that I like to do. Um, so I have kind of adopted this Rocky Horror Picture Show Frankfurter mindset of don't dream it, be it. When I can't find people who look like me doing things that I'm interested in, I'll do it. And that's kind of been the catalyst for me really deciding that this was the time to do it. So on my channel, you're gonna see a lot of long form tutorials. Um, I like the old school stuff, okay? I want you to take it all out, tell me all about it, girl. I want you to put on every piece of your makeups and tell me everything that you're doing. I wanna see all of it, I love that. Now, I'm hoping to do that. I do have a camera, but me and the technologies, look, I don't know how the AIs and the whatnot know that it's me, but when I try to do stuff with technology, they be like, oh, sorry, we can't connect. No, we're on a break. No, we don't do that. So I'm gonna try my very best to get it to a point where I can really do what it is that I wanna do with my videos. But for the most part, I will be recording on my iPhone because that's what I got. And you will be seeing long form videos. Now, as you see, <laughs> and here, I can talk, okay? I could talk. So long form videos will definitely be my jam. But um, you'll see a lot of just the eye looks. That's when I'm gonna try to do like shorts and whatnot, just so I can keep keep pumping things out because I like to do as many looks as I can in one sitting. So that's what I'm gonna focus on. You're gonna see a lot of lip swatches. You're gonna see lip combos. You're gonna see lip art. You're gonna see tons of recreations. I have a whole folder, uh, actually three folders on Pinterest that are dedicated to what I wanna do on my channel um, from recreations of just these looks that I found on Pinterest, recreations of my favorite Instagrammers, um, and then recreations of my own makeup, things like that. So you're gonna see a lot of that. You might even see a little bit of nails. Um, if you follow my Instagram, which is she who hits pan, you know <laughs> that I get sick of myself when it comes to the nails. I'm a little bit backwards. Um, when COVID hit, I think we all turned into nail techs. That's when the poly gels came out, okay? And I learned all of the steps to do all of the things except for how to properly, safely, and effectively remove those tips, dips, and tricks without jacking up your nails. So that was the last thing I learned. So we're in a little bit of nail purgatory. So I've recently started to go to the shop. This is the second time I've gone to the shop to get my nails done. I have to go get a fill. And I will be just getting clear acrylic fills. They don't like that. <laughs> Every time I go, they be like, what color? I'm like, no color. They be like, no color, no color, I'm sorry. They also gonna be upset when I come there with my stuff already removed because I'm not paying for that. Anyways, getting off on this uh, tangent. But I do have a relatively large yet I think small nail polish collection and I do wanna get some use out of those polishes because I, if I could, with my son, it's a little bit harder because I need dry time, uh, dry time. But if I could, I would change my nail polish literally every day and we might. So stay tuned for that in case you're a nail polish girly. Um, but you'll see that 
and uh, I think those are the two things I'm gonna really focus on just makeups and possibly nails now this is Veronica my weaves I'm a weave diva okay I'm a weave diva and I'm a wrap diva so I'm either gonna have a weave on or I'm gonna have a wrap on those are just the two ways that I naturally come okay and I always have a headband on because although I like my long weave, get off my face. That's how I live. <laughs> That's how I live my life. So this is pretty much what you'll see all the time. And I'm very handsy with my hair. I don't know why. I just like to do this. So if that annoys you, I'm really sorry. You're just going to have to get over it. <laughs> but let's move right along. Okay. So um, those are the things you'll see here on the buffet, just my collection and how I use it. I am on a no buy for 2024 and I'm doing pretty good so far. It's only January, so I guess that's not too much to go on. But I was at the store yesterday and I was looking at something and I did not buy anything. So pat pat on the backpack for that. Um, and because I am on a no buy, that means that I am really going to be trying my very best to recreate anything that I do want. So I do want to keep shopping mentally. I do want to stay on top of what is new and whatnot, but I want to see if I can dupe it in my collection. I have a few ideas for a few things that I think I want to depot, but I also don't want to damage what I have. So with that being said, I'm going to start my channel off with a... Um, uh, a shop my stash so that you can see some of the things that I have I feel like this is going to be the easiest way for me to display my collection without having to do separate collection videos which I have tried I literally just deleted the two that I recorded a few weeks ago because it just feels too daunting to me to have to do all these separate collections so instead I'm just going to do shop my stashes periodically as the year goes by and that way you'll eventually see everything that's in my collection. I even wrote down every single eyeshadow palette that I have. So once I've used it, I know that we don't have to talk about this one again, even though I can still use it. So that might be a bit confusing, but I feel like for now, that's the way that I'm going to do things. So with all that flippity flaps out of the way, let's jump right on in to foundations, concealers, powders all right so currently these are the things that i'm using on my face right now and i'm coming to you with a full face of makeup i did another moira eyeshadow look um this is supposed this was supposed to be my very first video but as you have seen i have already posted about the moira super hyped liquid shadows that i've been working with and this is the latest one that i've done so i've just got white and then brown on that is literally all that's on my eyes but my foundation i hope it looks good on camera because in person it's looking phenomenal okay um unfortunately it is a discontinued product which is the way my life goes but i'm gonna go ahead and get out my base products and we'll just talk about what we'll be using for the duration until i decide that it's time to shop my stash again which i don't think i really have a time frame on it's just whenever i feel like it because um you're not my boss and i can do what i want right yeah so let's go ahead and start with the the most important item in my collection when it comes to foundations okay that's going to be the la girl pro color foundation mixing pigment in blue i do have the yellow and the white but i keep blue on hand i have four of these unopened in my closet and i need to get two more i am on a no buy but there are things that i can buy when it comes to like staples and whatnot and this is definitely a staple now dion if you're watching this i know you probably getting a little bit triggered you don't like to have duplicates in your collection and I'm, I, I see why, I see why. It's very smart, very smart. Safe space for things that you need so everything's different, everything has its place, okay, I, I, I got it. But see, see, um, this for me is extremely important. So I have a golden brown skin tone, but my undertone is olive. I say that because I give off a slightly green hue. It took me a very, very long time to figure this out. A lady at Lancome helped me, and once she did, I stopped buying yellow foundations. And then I was like, oh, great. Now I don't look like a Oopa Loopa. That's fantastic. But it was very hard to get those golden tones to mesh perfectly because oftentimes when they were golden foundations, they still kind of hindered on a bit red, okay? So for instance, one of my favorite foundations is the Born This Way, and y'all look, I'm gonna be dropping things because I always get the dropsies, okay? The Born This Way Matte Foundation. I do, the dewy one's okay. The natural, is it dewy or natural? I think it's a natural finish. That one's okay, but I prefer the matte one. 
extremely long wearing formula absolutely beautiful love this so many colors but if you remember jackie i know worked with Too faced and she extended their born this way line when she did that she created the shade chai jackie Ina for most foundations for me is my foundation match and she made this and it's extremely golden but the undertone is a squinchal red just a squinch okay jackie does have a little bit of red in her skin i am very olive so i give off that green that green hue so neutralizing the red in this product keeps the gold there but it turns that red into a green and that is how i end up getting the perfect like literally i can make it look like my skin in a bottle now sometimes that means that it looks like i'm buying foundations that are too dark for me but i have to go with the golden ones because the olive ones if there is a foundation that's for dark skin but it is actually olive can sometimes be too neutral so then it pulls gray it took me a really really long time to figure that out but once i did it made it so much easier for me to just keep this on hand and then i just go for the golden brown undertone and we're good so these are two amazing products but this is a staple in my collection i always have it on hand love it so much this foundation really really good we're also going to be working with a few of the black opal foundations this is a old 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 foundation that i used to use a very long time ago and i wanted to see when black opal came to ulta i wanted to see if i still enjoyed it and i had done a video i deleted it but i had done a video maybe i did i don't remember whatever we'll, we'll find out um but uh she she got she she a trickster okay first she put her on you be like no and then she sits down for a little bit and does her homework and you're like is that an a plus i think it's an a plus <laughs> another super old foundation and i don't mean like it is old and should be thrown away but it's like an older foundation maybelline dream matte mousse this was an Emily Noel 83 made me repurchase, but she recently, or she did a video not too long ago talking about some old, old school makeup that still is amazing. Maybelline, if you came out with more colors of this, better undertones as well. This is real good, real good girl. Then we're also going to be playing with the Juvia's Place i am magic radiant foundation this is so good and this is a beautiful foundation to mix with matte foundations i really love it i have a dehydrated oily um combo skin type so dehydration is the lack or abundance of water and then oily dry combo um stuff like that that is the imbalance of oil so when i'm hydrated my skin is de or my skin is oily combo and when i'm when i am very hydrated i can get quite oily because then my body's like we got water but <laughs> now we're making too much oil um so for me i typically stay with matte foundations but i'm tippy toeing over into the naturals natural not dewy i don't want the do's but naturals then I also have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I hate this foundation. I cannot get this to be full coverage on me. It is very weird because this is a full coverage foundation. And on me, my skin just freaking eats it. I can never get full coverage. Even if I color correct before it, I don't know what it is. It is a sorcery of the worst kind. And I don't know if we're ever going to fix it. Okay, moving on. The last foundation, and this is the foundation I am wearing. I am one almost completely out of it and two it is discontinued so that freaking sucks but it figures the nyx born to glow this is a natural radiant foundation and it is absolutely stunting stunting okay and i can get this to be full coverage and i can't get this to be full coverage it's ridiculous ridiculous okay but it's a really good really really good foundation and i am just about out of it so I guess we got something for the empties. The two concealers that I've been working with right now are the Tarte Double Duty Beauty. I guess that's not the name. Uh, the Ultra la, 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 Shape Tape Ultra Creamy. And I have never bought this. Somehow, I always end up getting it from Ulta for free. Not that I use my points with it, but literally, it's free. And I don't know how that has happened, but it has. So 
but it's a really good concealer. I really do enjoy it. I prefer the creamy one versus the original one. That one was just real dry, very cement. I mean, you could get it to work and it could look nice, but I mean, she gonna suck all your juices out, okay? And then the other concealer, I have two shades. The other concealer I've been working with is the JCAT Beauty Stationurance Water Seal Zero Smudge Concealer. This is amazing. This is what I'm wearing under my eyes right now. I love this concealer so much. I'm very sad I am on a no buy because I don't have more of this, but it is a really, really great foundation. JCAT Beauty is one of those slept on brands at Ulta. Check it out, check it out. She got some things, okay? And then the last thing in the foundation concealer range is the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix in Pumpkin Color Corrector. I don't use it a ton, but I do have it. Moving on to powders, the powders we have out that we're going to be playing with, I just have three. One being the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. This is the shade Mocha. I typically use two shades. So I'll use a lighter, more neutral shade for the center of my face and then a slightly warmer golden shade for the perimeter of my face, just for some dimension. And that's what we've done today. For the center of my face, though, currently I am just in under the eyes. I'm using the Dermablend Warm Saffron. This is a product that I have had for so long. I just recently opened it so it is fresh but I've almost decluttered this thing so many times and I don't really know how she's escaped but she has okay so I started using it again because of Emily Noel uh, Emily Noel 83 y'all I trip over my big old lips and my tongue all the time so just deal with that okay but Emily Noel 83 is my favorite youtuber and she did a whole dimmer blend thing and she's right it's amazing I love this powder so much I'm so thankful I did not declutter it because she's a banger okay Next, I have just a tiny little uh, NYX HD finishing powder. I saw this random video on powders, like pressed powders, loose powders, finishing powders, um, things like that, and the different ways that you use them. And I realized that I've never actually used my powders how they are meant to be used. So I've started to do that. And I was like, oh, you mean my face won't look like an oily mess if I just powder down between my brows? Cool. So that's what I use this for. All right, so next, just a few setting sprays. I have, this is the e.l.f. bottle um, for the aloe, soothing aloe mist, which I do have and I really do love, but right now in this, in here is just Mario, is it Badusco, Badesco? Mario Badusco Rose Waters, okay? I love rose, authentic rose, okay? If it smells like real roses, not only do I want to, to wear it and to put it on me and to smell like it, I want to eat it. I love rose. It's so good. Just, oh, I love rose. Anyways, whew, I get crazy when the roses is out. But yeah, so this is just rose waters. And then I, of course, have one of the OGs, Fix Plus. Honestly, y'all, I don't actually care about this on my face. 